Hello and welcome to this quick video about versions of things like Act Now from Beta Flight, making this one specifically for a Patreon of mine, a Patreon called Dave. So Dave, this one's for you. However, interestingly, I've had this question from a couple of Patreons recently, so I'm making and sharing it because if two or three people are asking me about it, there's going to be other people in the same boat. Now this is iNow 4.0, which is the latest as I am recording the video. However, 4.1 is just round the corner. Why would you want to get hold of a previous version? Well, it may be that the model that you're trying to upgrade is running on a very old version of iNav, and when you connect it to iNav, it won't let you get access to anything and do a dump or a diff all to get hold of the settings so you can have a look at how it was all done. It may be when you go to firmware flasher that the particular target that you want is no longer available and that might be because you know what it's no longer supported in the latest version of iNav. In that case you might want to get hold of the previous version of the configurator, previous versions of the code so that you can update and flash those older boards which are no longer supported. The good news is, is all of the stuff that's around uh, is still kicking about, so you can still get hold of it. So, for example, if we search for iNav release, you get this link, which will take you to the releases list. Here's the page at the moment that talks about iNav 4.1 release candidate. That just means that it's not a final version yet. It's almost a final version. It's going through the final bits of testing. However, I don't tend to use release candidates on anything but test stuff until it's formally released. And here's all the release notes and the things that are made different. But down here, you still have all the versions of the previous stuff as well. And in iNav4, this is a great place to come and read all about the stuff that's changed and what you need to do to do your updates. However, the one you're really interested in is looking for something like this, the releases for iNav configurator in GitHub. Now this is where you can download the configurator. All the files are here. So here's the 4.1 configurator for Linux, Windows 32, Windows 64. If we zoom down, surprise, surprise, iNav configurator 4, which is classed as the latest as I'm making this, is still available. If we scroll down, there's a lot more blurb in here, but there's the assets, including the Mac OS version. But guess what? You can still go down. There's a release candidate that was the version before the final released version. But if we keep going, there's iNav Configurator 3.02 with all the same blurb. If we keep going down, there's the assets for I or assets depending on how you want to say it, <laughs> for, for 3.02 for the different targets. There's 3.01, and we can keep going down. There's iNav Configurator 3.0. There's the release candidates for it. There's iNav Configurator 2.61. So if you want to get hold of the 2.61 Configurator and access all of the things that 2.61 did, so you can talk to your older models and get hold and change things, all this stuff is still there, and this is the same if you're talking about iNav or beta flight. Now, if you are struggling with uh, maybe a target that you're playing with in something like iNav, maybe the version that you're playing with isn't quite working properly, then you have a couple of different options. You can go on to things like the GitHub pages. So if we look at the stuff where we've just been, we can go into issues, and we can actually search for a particular issue to see if we've got one for the particular thing that we've got. Let's just look out for closed stuff. Okay, and if there is that, the answer may be that it's already there. If you can't find it, then you can always create a new issue and that will get support from the developers. However, you also have, if we go back to the very top, you also have access to things like the iNav Discord server. Now you can create yourself an account, get into Discord. A lot of the developers and uh, advanced users of iNav hang out in here and you can ask questions and get support as well. But if you are struggling to get hold of a particular piece of iNav, then you know what? You can always find the old stuff. It's always still in here. And you can absolutely get hold of the older versions. So even if it's a really old version that you want, 
you will still be able to get hold of the assets and download them. I'll put links down below to all of this stuff so you can go and check it out. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.